part 12. Um, it's likely to be the last video as well. Uh, the last video showing the painting of Geralt anyway. I do have other footage of the background that I might end up editing. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I was looking for the footage for this video and I've actually found that I'm missing some footage. Either I'm missing footage or I just didn't record. I'm not too sure what happened. A um, little bit bummed out as well because it's vital footage that I really wanted to show you guys. Um, so the picture on the left, uh, his suit, you can see there's not a lot of colour. It's quite bland. It's just the paint's grey. But on the right, you can see um, it's got a nice blue tint to it. So that's the footage that I'm missing is um, I've actually um, built up his uh, the colour in his suit using a Createx Illustration Blue Violet. Very over-reduced so that I don't saturate the picture and lose some of that texture and detail that I've, I've uh, spent hours putting into it, you know, the leather look. Um, so I've, I've similar pro process to the previous videos where I work in the dark areas and uh, just slowly drift it across to the lighter areas, making sure I don't oversaturate. <clears throat> and also uh, working that color into other areas like the severed heads part, you know, the blue area of the severed heads, his, uh, his glove, his hair. It just really helped to, to set him back into his background to um, really make him part of the environment. So that, it made a huge difference and um, would have been good to show as it was, um, as it was going. So this part's about creating the um, the four signs in each corner of the, the picture, um, using the my Roland Cam One GX24, which absolute beast of a machine. I love this thing. Um, one of the best things I bought. I've um, edited the um, the signs on the computer, sharpening them up and making sure they're perfect, and cut out a few um, just to make sure I had spares in case of failure. Because yeah, anything can happen, and it usually does with me. So I've made up a little homemade self uh, uh, set square there, just to make sure um, the, the signs are, you know, perfectly aligned in the corner. Um, a little bit pedantic like that. Press uh, press that down, rip my mask off. So now that's stuck there. I've got, uh, got a little window that I've cut out to uh, basically block off the background so that I don't get any overspray over the artwork. And here I'm just laying masking tape around each edge. Um, very, very important here to make sure it's pressed down as much as you can. You don't want paint will get anywhere. Paint will find a way under things. So uh, you need to make sure that that is pressed down so hard that uh, nothing's going to get under. Um, and then um, proceed to load the gun with Createx Illustration White. Um, and and slow builds up, slow slow build up of this one. Um, I don't want to over saturate the area um, because then the the layers underneath don't dry very well, and um, you end up with uh, when you peel the mask off, you end up with a, a very defined edge. You can actually feel the edge, so I want to avoid that as much as possible. Um, unfortunately, I you know I can't help it; it's going to happen. But <clears throat> you know, the um, the less paint you can lay down, the better. So just uh, light passes dry it off in between passes as well what I do is I'll um, I'll just spray across it with air just uh, no paint just air just drying it off and then do another coat sometimes I even um, I'll even spray um, just a transparent base before I lay down the color and that quite often helps to um, to block off any possible um, areas where it might um, creep underneath. So, but the only problem with that is that uh, then adds another layer or two, which um, you're more likely to get a you know a defined edge. So, I didn't do it this time. I felt pretty confident that the um, the masking was tacked down very well. And this is actually a very good frisket mask. Um, I've actually managed to find a winning combo here, so I'm using the Upo paper to paint on um, and the frisket mask that I've laid on top doesn't actually seem to peel the paint off. So it sticks really well, but won't peel the paint off. It's um, absolutely amazing. So no no problem. You still got to be careful because there is the, uh, the odd occasion where you get a little bit too confident and um, peel it up and all of a sudden part of your painting comes up. Um, but um, I haven't had too many issues with this. That's been great.
as you can see it, it, it looks deceiving it looks like I'm doing this quite fast but this is sped up quite a bit so this is actually very slowly built up um, and ideally I would prefer to do this to lay these symbols on first as a positive before I even start the picture paint the whole picture and then peel them off at the very end um, but unfortunately these were an afterthought um, I got part way through the picture um, and then realized uh, well not realized I actually had this idea that I wanted to lay these on the, um, just kind of like um, just to create a you know a symmetry um, thought it'd be a pretty cool effect um, there's five signs that he's got and um, the fifth one is actually the the one inside the right in the middle of the picture inside that stone so that's how I um, came to think of it but if I've got that one in the middle why wouldn't I have the other four on the outside just to uh, just to even it up you can see I'm using a piece of paper to lay over top to flatten that down so that I don't scratch any of the paintwork These darker areas are the far, by far the easiest areas to lay the white down. Um, just it just looks so much more effective, and you, know, you can really see it stand out a bit better than the than the lighter areas and the areas with detail. Such a satisfying feeling peeling that off and seeing seeing the uh, result. So this part, um, now that all those those symbols are peeled off and exposed, I can actually um, just use that same white mix, over reduced um, a, a little bit more. So I, I over reduce the, reduce this by quite a bit, um, and basically follow the pattern of the sign, just to create that um, even glow. You can see that it um, follows the general shape and pretty neat effect. Um, and I do actually add a few wisps of um, almost like uh, mist running off of it which uh, you'll see coming up I think but you've just got to keep a fairly steady hand not to um, you know not to go too far out of the lines otherwise it might look a bit odd got to keep it fairly straight wisps of uh, like a mist effect coming off of it Sleep amidst the trees. That's all the sweet. 